Hi, I'm Anu Pearson. I'm in Seattle and I love building. I've been building for the last uh, 14 years or so. Fantastic. Now, what are we going to take a look at here? Uh, this is from Game of Thrones. This is Pike Islands uh, in Westeros. Belongs to uh, the Greyjoys. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought this was one of the most interesting looking castles of Game of Thrones. So that's why I took up the challenge of building it. Very nice. This is a really impressive build. I, I like how you did all the kind of slope work there. Can you talk about that and the techniques you used to get that done? Uh, so slope work, generally we see slope pieces or bricks or something used. I want to challenge myself and do something different. I've done a lot of rock work before and I've used, so I wanted to just do something completely different. And I played around with all the possible parts LEGO has that I can use for rock work. And I like this and then just went on and did it. And it gave the effect of the Pike Islands from the pictures I've seen on the internet. So um, I went ahead and did it. When you were building, what was the uh, biggest sticking point and how did you overcome it? Like well, from a technique perspective or any sort of angle you want to take? Uh, from the technique perspective, I, the rocks that are in the pictures or in the TV serial are uh, not just straight up and there's angles to the rocks. So that's what I wanted to create and uh, um, I used technique, piece, technique pieces to do all that and I thought um, I did something that I was satisfied with. That's fascinating. Now, uh, when you are sourcing your parts, uh, what's your one biggest uh, like uh, area that you get your pieces from? I get a lot of my pieces uh, from Bricklink and the Lego store from the Pick a Brick wall. Very cool. Now, uh, one thing I am always curious about, uh, I know if I was looking at a build like this and I had never built uh, anything large with Lego before, I would always wonder, uh, how do I get started? Uh, what are the first steps I should take? Uh, in your eyes, what would you say uh, if someone was wanting to sort of get into building something like this? How do you start to kind of level up? Where do you look for inspiration? How do you uh, get ideas for techniques, uh, so on and so forth? Uh, there's a lot of fantastic builders on Flickr and your site, etc. So I look for inspiration there. Now when I have an idea like this that I'm going to build something like this, I, I do a little bit of sketch on paper and put base plates out to get a few measurements. We know the measurements of bricks, we know the measurement of base plates, and I go from there and do a little sketching to see what scale I want the things in. Um, start with the basic structure of everything, lay stuff out, and of course it has to all be modular because we are taking, to, taking it to conventions all over. So how, how will it fit? How will everything be built, be put together, and still be modular and be stable to carry? So these are the aspects I look for and go from there. And now with a few years experience, that comes a little easier than before. And something I noticed walking around a lot of these different uh, LEGO conventions is there's many different techniques people use to create water. So how'd you decide on this technique here with the, the kind of see-through tiles? Uh, again, pick a, brick? Pick, a brick. pick a brick. Pick a brick is a big, big, big uh, thing. And also do something different. Things that have been done have been done and uh, they're very good, but they've been done. So I'm always looking for something different to do. Right. Yeah. Bring, bring something different to the game because like you said, yeah, there's a lot of these uh, types of water builds and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's interesting to see them different. So yeah, that's a really impressive build. Thanks for talking to us about it. Thank you. Thank you.